For more on the failed bailout and where we go from here, as the chairman of Wynn Resort, Steve Wynn, just opened the Encore, 5,500 new jobs. As a businessman, Steve, you come at this from a place other, different than the politicos. What's going on and how do we fix it? One of the things I think we've learned is that the problems we're going through with Fannie, Freddie, and the rest of all the financial institutions have to do with the fact that everybody thought they could lay it off to someone else. So they worried about bigger deals and bigger fees and bigger bonuses. And that is really the heart of what of the problem we're having. The, the system needs liquidity. That's what the system needs. The question is, and, and the reason I was glad that I got a chance to be with you guys today, is I think it's very important to make a point, and if it gets to Congress, that'll be hallelujah time. And that is, what we don't need to do is have the government buy the paper. Because the government, with all these credits and mortgages and pieces of paper that have existed in every city and county and state in America, they were all done one at a time. And the best people to fix them are the people who did it. The trouble was that they had their eye on the wrong ball. It was about fees and bonuses. The, the roadmap for this, and, I, and my, my, my strong conviction is, that what we really need is to have the government stiffen the liquidity of the financial institutions in America to stave off any more problems with the use of preferred stock. Don't buy the paper. They'll never know what to do with all these mortgages in, in Washington, D.C. There aren't enough bureaucrats to handle this. What we need to do is inject liquidity with a preferred the government it, it puts this liquidity in and then tells the managers, very much like Warren Buffett did with Goldman Sachs, listen, you're not going to get any bonuses, you're not going to get distribution to stockholders until you pay the government 5 or 6 or 7% off the top. And then when you get the company straightened out, whether it's a savings or loan or some other financial institution, then you can distribute money to the owners. See, what, the effect of that will be I'm sorry, let me, the stock will you. go down. What should the government do for Go people who have bad mortgages or people who can't pay their mortgage? Should the government have any role in keeping people in their homes, for example? The, what I'm trying to say, yeah. Alan, is that the market will take care of that. If the government keeps the savings and loans from going broke and all of that, the first thing that will happen is the executives of the savings and loans, they can't do anything with an empty house. Yeah. They will reprice the homes and reprice the mortgages, and the people that made the mistakes will take the losses, namely the institutions that did such a bad yeah. job of lending. And those houses will get filled again with people who can afford to pay the mortgages at the price that the houses should have been sold for in the first place. Hey. A giant auction took place. Hey, Steve, by the way, and Sean Hannity. resulted. Uh, how, you, how you doing, my friend? By the way, I've stayed at the Wind. I love your hotel. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Thanks for the. I, I really do, and, and uh, I had a great time. Uh, you know, it's very fascinating to me, everything you're saying. I just spoke with one of the top radio executives of one of the biggest radio companies in America, and he was saying almost identical to what you said. Earlier today, I spoke with Donald Trump. And by the way, Steve Wynn is no uh, bigger, bigger fan than Donald Trump. I got to tell you, when I told him you were on, he said, tell, tell Steve I love him. Um, but interestingly, <laughs> he thinks the fact that the bill didn't go through is a good thing. And you're Absolutely. saying, why is it some of the best and brightest and smartest businessmen all, don't like this deal? First of all, the sky is not falling. Uh, Chicken Little will be glad to hear that. The sky is not falling. The last people in the world that can handle tens of thousands of these mortgages and bad pieces of paper are government bureaucrats. Haven't we learned that yet? What we need to do is refocus the attention of these institutions that created those credits and tell them, listen, you don't get a payday until you clean it up. They'll resell the homes. They'll well, reprice the mortgages. And, and the government's got time to do this. They, if they've got time to go buy six or seven hundred million dollars worth of paper, they sure have held got yeah. enough time to go and, and figure out how to inject liquidity in the system mm -hmm. without destroying incentive. You know something, Steve? I've, I've read your story, and, uh, and, and Donald Trump had the, the highest praise for you today when I told him you were going to be on. I've read your story. I've watched Donald Trump in New York, and, and I've followed his career very closely. Two of the smartest business real estate entrepreneurs that I know. You put a lot of money at risk. You've made tough decisions. And, 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 I, uh, and I got it. And what, why can't these guys in Washington listen to the people that are successful? Why aren't you called in? Why this rush to get this done in 24 or 48 hours? Look at Sean. So many of us in the business world have 
relegated ourselves to supporting the right candidates as we see it. But it's time now, I think, for those of us who care. You know, I'm, I'm, I've got 15,000 employees and their families. Yeah, real it's quick, time Steve. to speak up. I'd hate to see us make it worse. Yeah. And we need, we need to turn self-interest in the proper direction. All right. The Warren Buffett plan for Goldman Sachs is a very good roadmap. All right, Steve, uh, Wynn, uh, thanks for being with us, and uh, we appreciate it. And uh, thanks for being on board and coming up a group with...